Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix from Phoenix TV. Today I'm going to show you how to tension every gang cube. Enjoy. So to take out a center cap, all you would do is just take out a piece on a 3x3 and pry it open with your thumb. With a scube, you would do the same thing except on a corner piece like that. Then with the other puzzle that they've made, like this mini 3x3 and the mirror cube, it's the same thing. Then with the 2x2 and 4x4, you would spread the pieces apart and then tension it with the tool. Then with the pyramid, it's pretty finicky to be honest, but you grab some sort of tool and like pry it open with the tool on the little notch underneath the cap. And with the Mega Minx, you just take out a few pieces and then uh, pry it open with your thumb nail. Now I'm going to show you how to actually tension uh, them all. If you have an older gang cube like this, in order to tension it, you should have this little thing, it should come with it, except like a metallic or a metal version of it. And the tip of the tensioning tool onto the cube and then just tension it like a normal screw. These are all the cubes that feature this tensioning system. Then in 2016, they made, they made again a UM, I'm pretty sure it was, and they created the new GS system. I don't actually have the original one. This is basically the same thing, except like a 2019 edition as they call it. There are seven options to change the spring uh, setting. So there's red to purple, purple being the weakest, red being the strongest. And to tension it, you just simply pop the screw on top and then just tension it like a screw again. These are all the cubes that have that tensioning system. Then moving right along to when they made the GAN X. It's basically, it's kind of like the same thing as earlier, except there are specific numbers on it and like notches. So it's the same way as tensioning it like always, except this time you'd have to push it down and then move it across until it like comes back up. And in order to, ch in order to get rid of the uh, GES piece, there's one notch on there that just, that takes the GES nut out entirely and then you can just change it to whatever option you want. Also, with this cube, they got rid of uh, red, orange, and clear. Now with the magnet string, you'd be given a little container full of magnets, then you would just pry one off, and then you'd pop it on top of the of the magnet, and then you just push it through, and then this one would come out, and then the other one would be replaced into the cube itself. And then it's done. There are, there are four options, so there's null, which has no magnet, green, which is weak, yellow, which is medium, and um, this other clear one, which has magnets in it, which are strong. These are all the cubes with that tensioning system. The next tensioning system that they've made, this is on the GAN Scube and the 3x3 and the GAN XS. I'll just use the GAN Scube because it's easier. Now, you'd be given a tool which has six or four blue pieces with it. And the light blue mean has one and three on it and the dark blue has two and four. That's just the tension of the, like, the, the type of spring, I guess, or the... It changes the sp string, spring strength or whatever it is. I don't know. But as you can see, I just reset it. That would be like one, two, three, four, five, six. And now it's on the tighter setting. And if I move it one more, it'll go straight back to um, one. Here are all the cubes that have this tensioning system. Then later on, in about 2020, they created another GES system yet, yet, yet again. And, and this is featured in the GAN Pyraminx. In order to use it, you would take off the cap of a Pyraminx, and as you can see, it's much more saturated than the um, usual GES uh, piece. It's kind of like the um, original uh, 3x3 GES piece from back in 2016 that I just showed earlier. But yeah, it's kind of like the X, where you just change the strength by moving across except there's only like three options this time instead of four so there's so there's 0 0.6 0 0.8 and then null which allows you to just take off the gs piece entirely as, as you can see then after that they released the gan 11 and pro which has the same has the same tensioning system as the gan which has the same tensioning system as all these cubes here or the way to customize the magnets are different so you have the mag you have three options on the corner here, which are used by a little tool that should come with it. And you can change the inside of the corner like stalk, because now they have like core magnets. And in order to change it, you would push down on the on the piece and then twist it anti-clockwise. And then it sh you should be able to get it out of the corner stalk, as you can see. And then there was one other option that you could change it to on the 
on the corner piece. So there was either, or technically three, you could just get rid of it entirely. But um, there was the triangle and the octagon. I'm pretty sure the octagon is um stronger uh, to my knowledge. But now onto the Gantor of Maglev, which has a different, again, a different tensioning system. Except I'm pretty sure this is the only cube to my knowledge that has this tensioning system from what I know of. This this part of the tool changes like it's like a, it's like changing the spring in a uh, gang cube and then this is like changing like the this is like um loosening a screw on a normal cube. And it works the same way as you can see there's numbers on here that's that go from one to six and and yeah that's all there is on that. So now that we've done the three by threes we'll quickly go on to the two by twos and then finish off the video. In the beginning when they made the 249, again, to tension it, you would just use, you would use a little like cross piece thingy. Use the biggest, use the bottom of the cross and then just tension like a normal screw. And then with the release of the 251, it's the same exact thing except this time, it is the same exact thing as the 249, except this time you can change the spring, the, the spring strength. But then with the release of the 25, the newer 251s, um, with the air, uh, it's nothing different, but with the Pro and the Leaf, you can change the magnets on both the core and the corner piece, which I've already gone through. Then with the other cubes that exist, like the Mega Minx, Mega Minx is the same thing as like a normal screw, except you use this tool. And then with the Mini 3x3 and the Mirror Cube, it's just a normal screw. Hope you found this guide helpful. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.